Hi, this is Karthik from AzureAutomation.com and this is part 18 of our BDD video series. And in this part we'll be talking about no test in test explorer, one of the error which most of them are facing in recent days. So in Visual Studio 2015 or 2013, we sometimes see no test in test explorer as shown below. That's pretty weird. So well, how to fix that? So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio. All right. So now I have created a very, very simple uh, specflow project. And now I'm going to build this particular project. And if I go to the test explorer after building the test, you can see that there won't be any test in the test explorer. But we have a scenario here, but we don't see any test in this particular test explorer. And many of them are asking this question in the forums and also in many of the uh, YouTube channels and mostly I could see in my YouTube channel, those comments are being coming up here that they don't see the test in the test explorers. So how to fix this problem? Basically, this fix is pretty easy. Just go to the solution explorer and go to the app.config file. Under the specflow tag, you need to additionally add a attribute called unit test provider. So this unit test provider basically tells the spec flow that you need to use that particular unit test provider for executing your test. So if you tell that particular unit test provider, that particular test provider will be taken as the execution framework for the spec flow scenario and it will show the particular test in the test explorer. So how is this basically working? So if you go to the spec flow feature one dot feature, you will have a code behind of this particular feature file. And you can see that what is the particular framework being used to create this particular feature file. It's actually in unit framework. So let's say if I want to execute the MS test for executing this particular test, then I need to tell the unit test provider as MS test in the app.config, which is not there in this particular app.config file. It has to be added, but it is not being added here. And because of that particular problem, we are seeing that particular test is not being listed in this test explorer. So how to fix that? As I already said, just go to the app.config file under the spec flow tag. Just add one more tag called unit test provider and give the name here as MS test and close the tag. Just save this. You can see that the spec flow configuration change is going to happen. That's what the spec flow has detected. Just give S so that it will change the behind the scenes code, which has been generated by the spec flow feature file. And now if you build the solution, oops, unrecognized attribute name. Oops. I'm sorry. It should be small n. Just save this and accept the changes is going to happen. And then just try to build the solution. And now the build got succeeded and you will see that test will be displayed in here. And we are seeing two tests because we are using specflow plus Excel. So for that, please watch the previous video so that you will get a clear understanding of how to use the specflow plus Excel in specflow, which is a special plugin available in specflow. So this is how you can fix the issue of not seeing your test in the test explorer. So that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.